About a week ago, I had the unpleasant task and responsibility of notifying the media and sending out a news release that saying that the Hadi Shrine could no longer bear the risk of putting on an air show whose budget had far out clips, eclipsed that of the festival itself. We had looked at the numbers and could not accept that risk because it put our not-for-profit side at too much of a risk. We notified you guys and we actually notified the Blue Angels we were canceling the show. We notified ICAST, but as I talked to you all, if you'll remember, I said in each and every interview, our goal here and our hope is that there's a white knight somewhere in, in Evansville or Southern Indiana that might step up and help us bring the premier act back to Evansville, the Blue Angels, and our air show. Uh, I'm happy to say uh, today that Vectoran Corporation uh, started uh, contacting us on Monday after one of our members had contacted a family member at, at uh, Vectoran and they had some discussions on what it would take. It started some internal discussions at Vectoran. Vectoran Corp has stepped forward and offered to fund a one-time donation of $50,000 to bring the air show back to Evansville. We can't tell you how grateful we are for our riverfront neighbor who has sat here and watched uh, the shrine for the last uh, 12 years now, put on a festival down here in the last several years, put on an air show. Uh, for them to step up means a whole lot to us, Carl, and I, I can't tell you how much we appreciate that. Um, right now what I'd like to do is have uh, Mayor Lloyd Winicky, who has uh, had seen us a lot lately, actually. Um, before we made the decision, we went with them and asked for whatever avenues of ideas they had to save the air show, and it's a, it's a t tough economic time. But he has uh, met with us, he's tried to help us, he's done everything he can, he's supported us not only over the years, but he felt the pain that we felt when we had to notify you we couldn't bring you the air show anymore. So I'd like for him to say a few words for us. Thanks, Jim. Well, good morning. Uh, I'd like to uh, first thank uh, the Hadi Shrine. You know, we are so blessed in our community to have a not-for-profit organization that is willing to put forward the human resources, this, all the effort it takes to, to raise money to make the uh, Shriners Fest the tradition that it's become. Um, and of course, we're equally blessed to have corporate citizens in our community that want to step up or willing to step up, such as Vectoran is, is doing th this week. Uh, clearly, veterans' uh, windows in the building must be very, very good if they're willing to uh, put up with the Blue Angels uh, blasting through the skies of downtown as often as they will. But we are so blessed to have the leadership of Carl and his uh, management team who recognize the community needs, uh, needed a boost here. And so they were uh, willing to uh, step up and commit a large amount of money to ensure that the city of Evansville, southwest Indiana, will ha have the premier air act uh, in the world, I think, uh, coming back to the Evansville Riverfront. So we're grateful for Vectoran. We're certainly grateful for the other sponsors who helped the Shriners Fest throughout the year. And what this means for downtown is that the, um, the Shriners Fest will be, have a new infusion of excitement. It will mean thousands of people to our riverfront, thousands of people to the downtown area, and that is always a good thing. Uh, with that, I'd like to introduce a, a good friend and uh, the person who's really the, the uh, the man is writing the check. Got the ink and the pen. Uh, Carl Chapman, President and CEO of Vectran Corporation, talk more about their commitment to this, uh, to this effort. Carl. Thank you, Mayor, and also thank you to the Hadi Shrine for all that you do and for being a great neighbor, uh, obviously, as well. And you already heard uh, that earlier uh, last week uh, we were disappointed to hear that uh, the Blue Angels had been canceled, so just started a dialogue inside our company asking uh, what should we do to be helpful. And we really got thinking about a couple of things. So one is, first of all, we're Evansville headquartered, and so this is our hometown, and we think this is a great event. We're focused on the community. It's one of our key values. Uh, but we really are focused here and on the riverfront, our neighbor, and so we thought uh, the great thing for us to be engaged in. I would also tell you we've had other events where we've been engaged with the Blue Angels, and we think they add just a tremendous amount uh, to an event. They're focused, obviously, on excellence. They're focused on service and uh, we think they really add to events. So we uh, felt like, again, for both reasons, being based here, but also knowing what the Blue Angels can add, that we uh, felt like it'd be appropriate for us to find a way to assist. 
Uh, the reason that we're able to do this is because we have a shareholder funded uh, foundation and that's how we fund uh, things like this where we make a contribution to, a, to an event and so we're able to turn to our foundation which is funded by our shareholders and uh, we also of course uh, believe that uh, community be one of our core values not only do we make uh, contributions in terms of dollars but also contributions through volunteerism and so our employees are also excited about uh, volunteering for our communities not only in Evansville but we have a broader uh, service area as well uh, but obviously this uh, we're focused on Evansville in this uh, area so, you know, the best way I think to describe it is that our colleagues and all of us are just uh, not only happy to participate, but we're proud to participate. And more than that, now we look forward uh, to next summer uh, and uh, what uh, it will mean for the Blue Angels to be here. So thank you for our opportunity to be involved. Thank you so much, Carl. I appreciate that. Um, this one-time gift of $50,000 uh, to fund this air show, I want to remind you this is a $170,000 air show that we're bringing to Evansville. To do that, we need uh, and challenge other corporate uh, entities within Evansville and the surrounding area that want to be involved as sponsors to step up and help. We know not everybody can bring that amount of money to the table, but uh, any amount of money helps bring this to the table. We will be contacting our normal sponsors plus others around the area. So thank you so much.